letter of jude chapter 1 verse 20 and 21 we read like this repeat after me but you beloved but, but you, you beloved build yourselves up on your most holy faith build yourself up on your most holy faith pray in the holy spirit pray in the holy spirit keep yourselves in the love of god keep yourself in the love of god look forward to the mercy of our lord jesus christ look forward to the mercy of our lord jesus that leads christ. to eternal life that leads to eternal life praise the lord praise the lord is a very good advice from jude saint jude and the lord the saint jude is advising the christians build yourself up on your most holy faith the highest faith faith in jesus christ greatest of all the faith to have faith in jesus christ the most the most powerful gift god has given us in this universe is the faith in jesus christ this is the most holy faith faith in jesus christ and then when you pray pray in the holy spirit it is the holy spirit who inspires us to pray we are unable to pray the true prayer is done by the holy spirit if you are very good in prayer that means the holy spirit is active in you and then the third quality that we should have keep yourselves in the love of god move live have a being in the love of god always be surrounded by the love of god if we are doing everything in the love of god we are safe we are spiritual we are religious we are holy if we are not experiencing the love of god something is lacking in us something is wrong in our spirituality if we are not living in the love of god if you don't experience the love of god how do we know whether we are in love of god it is the same question it is equal to the question how do you know that you are already in love with someone if you are in love with somebody and you, you must have seen people saying i think i have i am in love now some people say i'm i think i am in love now i think i have fallen in love with someone so i have seen people updating their facebook saying in love i am in love now so because they feel that they are in love they experience that they are in love they may be talking to a person for a long time but suddenly they feel they are in love so this is how and the same symptoms that you experience there when you are in love should be there in your relationship with jesus when you are in love you feel you are surrounded by that person when you are in love you feel you need that person always when you are in love you feel you cannot live without that person when you are in love you feel the absence of that person is as if you are lost completely so this same feeling we should have if you really in the love of god if we don't experience this kind of love that means something wrong with our spirituality something is missing in our spirituality therefore the lord is telling us keep yourselves in the love of god and then look forward to the miss mercy of our lord jesus christ that leads to eternal life my dear brothers and sisters are you really in love with jesus can you boldly with conviction say to the whole world i am in love with jesus ask yourselves fall in love with jesus your life will be changed you will be the most happiest person in the world if you are in love with jesus he will never cheat us he will never betray us he will never ditch us he will never abandon us his love is steadfast his love is enduring and patient love 
his love is forgiving love the best love we can search for and find is the love of jesus and love from him